Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to prepare maximum temperature and minimum temperature using this NASA power data. So how to download the data and how to prepare this maximum and minimum temperature map that we are going to see. So to download the data, we need to visit NASA power. Okay, just go to your browser and search NASA power data. You will see this website that is a data access viewer. Okay, so I will share the link in the description box from where you can able to download the data set. So in previous videos, if you'll go to my channel in the previous videos, I have already explained how you can able to download the data set. So in this video, download the weather data from NASA power and we have prepared the precipitation map last time. So today we are going to prepare a temperature map that is a maximum temperature and minimum temperature map. So this is the power website. So just need to access the data, okay. So after that, we need to click here, this option, that is a power regional data access. So once you click here, the new window will open. So this window, I don't want, I will close it. I will just shift this and here, choose a user community. I will select agroclimatology. So you want daily rainfall, monthly or annual, according to that you can able to select. Then extent option is here, extent, just click here. And you need to go to location where you want to download the data set. So I'm interested to download for this Indian region. So just select a little bit larger area. Okay. And after that, automatically it will take a latitude longitude of this area. And for which area you want to download, like suppose you want to download for 2019 or any year, you just need to select here from Jan. to 19 December I will do so I'm interested to download this you can download for uh, your interested years and then select a CSV file format I want to download the CSV file format after that what data we want to download like a temperature so select a temperature and here temperature at two meter maximum and temperature at two meter minimum. So I want maximum and minimum temperature. Okay. After that, if you want to download the precipitation other data. So last video, I have already shown how to download the precipitation data and prepare a precipitation map and just click on the submit option. After click on the submit options. So automatically, it will give you to download the CSV files. So just click on the CSV and this file is automatically downloaded. Okay. So if I'll click here, so it file is opening. So now you will able to see this is the maximum temperature and minimum temperature and we are also getting the latitude and longitude. So using this data, we can able to prepare our maps. So I'm having latitude, longitude and Z value of that area. So what we can able to do, we just need to remove this. What are these things are there that we don't want. So just select it and delete. Okay. So we are having latitude, longitude, then this maximum temperature and minimum temperature. This file we can able to open in ArcGIS. So just save this file, right click, save as so you save your desired folder wherever you want to save this file so i'm working in the folder so i'm working in this folder so i will create a new folder here okay that temperature map so i will save here that is a power regional data and i will save as a csv file format Okay, so this file is already in CSV. So I'll just click on the save and cannot save this workbook with the same name. Okay, so I think already name is there. So I will add one here and just click on this save. Okay, so I have saved this file. Let will open this. So I'll take a blank one. So what are the CSV file we have saved? that we need to open that I will show you. So this file, 
I have saved in this folder. So that file I want to open in ArcMap. So this file I want to open in ArcMap. File, add data, add XY data, add XY data. Here we need to browse a file. So I'm working this temperature map folder and this is the file. Just click on the add. So here longitude is there and latitude I will select in Y and Z is my maximum temperature and minimum temperature and whatever you want you can able to select. So just select it and in edit we need to provide a WGS 1984 that is our datum and just click on OK. Just click on OK. So you will see all the data which we have taken is coming here. So what are the data we have selected according that this is coming. So we can able to export this as a shape file. So I'll save here. Temp max and mean. Just click on save and click on OK. So this is CSA file, but we need to convert into shape file to create an IDW. So when we'll create an IDW, we can able to generate a maximum temperature and minimum temperature map. So do you want to add the exported data to map there? Click on yes. Okay. So if I right click open attribute table, you will see we are, we are having latitude, longitude, and this is the maximum temperature and minimum temperature. So let will prepare the map. So to prepare the map, what we need to do in the arc toolbox, okay, you'll get our toolbox from here. So in the arc toolbox, you need to go to special analysis tool. Okay. In special analysis tool, there is an interpolation. In the interpolation, there is IDW. So IDW is nothing but uh, inverse distance weightage. So it is an interpolation technique. If you want to know the more detail, you can just right click to help and you can read the more detail about the IDW. Okay, what is the IDW and all the definition uses are given there. So let I will go to click on IDW. So just select this temperature. Then in Z field, we need to select the maximum temperature first will select and then minimum temperature will select. Then output location is where you want to save this file. So I'm working in this folder. So I'll save file here as a max temperature dot tiff. Just click on save and other options I will keep as it is and I'll just click on the OK. So this is the maximum temperature. And now I'll prepare a minimum temperature map. Just select this same oh, temperature file, CSV file that we have converted to shape file, then minimum temperature. And I will save in the same folder. That is a minimum temperature. And other option as it is, I'll just click on okay. So here my map is prepared. So I can just go to properties and uh, what are the color I want, I can choose here. So this is the five classes I'm doing here and just select your favorite color ramp, just click on okay. So this is the minimum temperature and this is the maximum temperature. So minimum is 33 and maximum is 45 as showing here in the area. So what are the color you want, you can able to choose, but this way very easily we can able to prepare this minimum temperature and maximum temperature map. Okay. So if you'll see this color indicating the highest temperature is maximum temperature. Also in this map also, as you, if you'll see, this color indicating the temperature. So, and this color showing the lower temperature. 
so this way very easily we can able to prepare and if you want to provide uh, if you want to provide a latitude longitude anything then you can able to go to this layout view and in the layout view you can able to provide the latitude longitude elevation all this you can able to provide means if you want to add the lat long then title legend scale bar all things are given here title we can add then legend you can able to add the north arrow scale bar all this option is available there if you want to do this uh, the previous video is there i will share the link in the description box how to create a map layout from that you can able to do that thing so if you are having any doubts you can just ask me in the comment sections if you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you